Today we're going to actually learn this tutorial. Hello. We're going to make the background transparent. You may know how to do this, but let's see if you learn something with this tutorial. So it says right here in this lesson by Rob Sylvan, a subject on a transparent background can be very useful. Use the quick selection tool to select the coffee cup and hide the background. So you might know what to do already. Let's X out of this. We're going to go into the home panel for Photoshop. We're going to browse the tutorials. We're going to go to all categories, beginning, and we're going to go to select a mask. And right here it is select the background. Oh, make the background transparent. Start tutorial. There we go. I'm going to put this over here to the side. I always like to kind of make it a little bit smaller and I like to move this over a little bit and I think that's going to be, work for what we're doing today. Let's see here. And the first thing we're going to do it says select the quick selection tool. If you don't see it, right click this tool icon then choose the quick selection tool in the flyout. So since it's already on the quick selection tool, I'm going to click on something else and back in it so that Photoshop knows that I selected it. So there we go. But if you need to find it, you don't see it showing there, you can right click on it. See how I did that? And then you can see the different ones. It's the quick selection tool. Now right here, it says we're going to change this number for the brush preset picker to 50 pixels and hardness to 100%. And then we're going to click next. So in here, select that size. They said it's 50. So you can move the slider. Or you can put the number in there exactly. Honestly, I just, it's, it's whatever you prefer. And the hardness, we want the hardness. What did it say? It wanted the hardness 100%. So we're going to change that hardness right here to 100%. And then I'm going to click out of it there like that. Click next. Now, starting on the blue rim at the top of the cup, drag the quick selection tool over the surface of the coffee the dark bubbles and over the handle on the right to select most of the cup click next to continue so most of it so it looks like it might not get all of it but that's okay so i'm still holding it down notice how it's selecting more and more as i keep going farther there see how it came over everything now we notice something else here is not selected. We're going to show you how to take care of that in a second here. So let's go next. So most of the cup is selected. It says right here, if there is a small area on the left side of the cup that is not selected, drag from the inside of the cup over the edge of the blue rim to add it to the selection. Click next. So we still want to make sure up here that we have it as plus. Okay, you see how I have it on minus? We do not want minus, we want plus. So I'm gonna go over here and kind of touch that edge and we see it, it now has the whole coffee cup. Very well it selected it. Let's go to next. The quick selection tool works well when there is contrast between an object's edge and the background. So this tool works well because this blue is like a medium to darker color and this this color right here is very light so the edge is very distinct so it can catch it next now we're going to click the add layer mask icon to add a layer mask to the background layer that is based on the selection of the coffee cup so we have this there's only one layer and we selected this so now it's going to hide everything else on this image okay we're going to mask it off hide it boom so now we see that it is transparent. The black on the layer mask hides the non-selected areas. Remember, black hides, okay? The checkerboard pattern indicates transparent pixels. So whenever you see this uh, checkerboard, gray and white in Photoshop, you know that it's transparent there, okay? On that image, that layer. Transparency is vital for com, com compositing images together and for some web graphics click next to continue let's go next 
Now we're going to do something else. We're going to trim this transparent space that we don't need. Okay. So we're going to go to image trim to trim away the XX pixels around the cup. So image and trim. So it's going to look and see what is not needed. And now here we're going to select what we, the settings for this trim tool. Okay. In the top section for based on check transparent pixels. So we have transparent pixels, then check all of the boxes under the trim away section. So these are all the boxes under the trim away. Click OK to trim the canvas to include just the cup. Click next to continue. So we're going to it's going to get rid of all the transparent. And there we go. Now we're going to click next. The layer with the coffee cup and its layer mask that hides the background are now ready to be added into a com compositing or collage project. Click next to continue. Okay, so we can add that very easily to another image, another image layer. Now, in order, uh, if you're a student and you're using this project, uh, this picture uh, for credit, then this is what you want to do for this image. You want to go to file, save a copy. If it looks good, if it looks something like this, looks correct, the edges are all clean and everything, save a copy, save on your computer. And right here, I like to change the name to whatever, you know, say, make background transparent. And then I like to add my name to it. It adds more distinction of where this is from. And then I'm going to change it. So I put the name of what I want, but I'm very careful not to mess with this end period and extension. If I do that, the whole file can be messed up and won't, won't work correctly. So I'm going to change this from Photoshop to JPEG. And now I'm not going to put it here. I'm going to change this to downloads. I need to know where it's saving otherwise i'm gonna to have to go back and do this again i'm gonna select save okay and there we go that's the tutorial